We make stressful decisions every day, like whether to wake up the moment your alarm clock goes off or sleep in and skip class. American Psychological Association found that almost one third of adults struggle making basic decisions in the post-pandemic world. Here's a tip for you, so you can make your decisions with less stress. Start at the end. Let me explain what I mean by that with an example. Let's consider a common scenario that we encounter every day. Imagine you are the leader of three packed lions. You live on an island covered with grass, no other animals. Of course, you, you three could survive eating all the grass that you want, but you would all prefer to consume, how should I say, uh, something a little bit meatier. <laughs> One day, magically, a lamb appears, single lamb, on your island. As the leader of the pack, only you get a shot at eating that lamb. But there's a little bit of complication. If you eat that lamb, you will fall asleep because it's a big meal. Then the second lion in line to the throne will get to decide whether to gulp you down while you're incapacitated. Of course, the second lion will face a similar dilemma if she chooses to eat you. The third lion in line could gulp her down while she's asleep. Now, consider yourself as the leader of the pack. Show of hands. How many of you would eat that lamb? All right, so rest of you, you would not? All right, let's find out. Let's start at the end. Consider the last lion in the pack, the third lion. His choice is clear. He's going to eat because there is no one threatening him, right? Now, let's work our way to the second lion armed with this insight. The second lion will choose not to eat in order to avoid becoming a feast. Now, let's come back all the way to the first lion, right? The head of the lions. We're thinking, you know, second lion's not gonna eat us, we're safe, so we can enjoy that lamb special without fear of being cat food to the next lion in line. So, Kierkegaard said, life can only be understood by looking backward, but it can only be lived looking forward. Now, hopefully, you gain some new perspective when contemplating sleeping in. No, no, I'm not talking about a scary mental image of your professor devouring you for missing class, but rather starting at the end going a few steps into the future, gaining some insight, and then working your way backwards to predict and shape that future. Thank you.